Hello guys, I hope you all are doing great. In this tutorial video, I will show you how to format, partition and password protect your external drive in macOS. I will also explain to you different file system formats, so after watching this video, you will know everything about macOS file system formats and disk utility features. If you want to support me, please like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more tech-oriented content. Without losing more of your time, let's go straight to the topic of this video. How to erase and format an external drive. Formatting a drive means erasing all data stored on it, so make sure to copy all your files before formatting your external drive. You can erase and format an external drive in macOS using the built-in Disk Utility app. Follow these steps. Be sure to back up any important data stored on your external drive before erasing and formatting it, as the process will erase all data on the drive. Connect the external drive to your Mac and open Disk Utility. You can find Disk Utility in the applications within the Utilities folder or by searching for it using Spotlight. In Disk Utility, select the external drive you want to erase from the list of available devices on the left side of the window. You can change the view to see the list of all volumes and devices. Make sure to select the right drive or partition. Once you identified your external drive, click the Erase button at the top of the Disk Utility window. In the Erase window, give it a name and select the GUID partition map. Choose a format for your file system – APFS, macOS Extended, also known as HFS Plus, or XFAT. If you want to securely erase the drive, click the Security Options button and choose an Erase method. This will override the data on the drive multiple times to make it more difficult to recover. Click the Erase button to start the erasing and formatting process. Wait for the process to complete. This may take some time, depending on the size of the drive and the speed of your computer. How to partition an external drive Partitioning an external drive means creating two or more partitions on one physical drive. Your drive will be divided into several sections and will be visible by macOS as two or more separate partitions, even if in reality you have only one physical drive connected to your Mac. To partition your external drive, follow these steps. Be sure to back up any important data on the external drive before partitioning it, as the partition process will erase all data on the drive. Connect the external drive to your Mac and open Disk Utility. In Disk Utility, select the external drive you want to partition from the list of available devices. You can change the view to see the list of all your volumes and devices. Click the Partition button at the top of the Disk Utility window. In the Partition Layout section of the Partition window, choose the number of partitions you want to create. You can create multiple partitions by clicking the plus button or remove partitions by selecting them and clicking the minus button. For each partition you create, select a format – APFS, HFS+, XFAT – and give it a name. Adjust the size of each partition by dragging the divider between them or by entering a size in the size field. When you are done with the partition layout, click Apply to confirm the start of the partition process. How to encrypt an external drive with a password Encryption means setting a password to access your drive. This is a really important action to do if you have some sensitive data on your external drive as you may lose it or unauthorized people can access your files without your permission. Make sure to save your files before making the encryption because this process will totally erase your files. You can encrypt an external drive with a password in macOS using the built-in Disk Utility app. Connect the external drive to your Mac and open Disk Utility. In Disk Utility, select the external drive you want to encrypt from the list of available drives on the left side of the window. Click the Erase button at the top of the Disk Utility window. In the Erase window, choose a format for the drive. APFS encrypted and give it a name. Enter a strong password for the encryption drive. Make sure to remember this password or store it in a secure place because once the drive will be encrypted, you will not be able to access files without a password. Click the Erase button to start the encryption process. Once the process is complete, your data is securely protected. 
Now, every time your external drive will be connected to your computer, it will ask for a password. If you don't want to enter the password all the time, you can save it in your Mac keychain. As you have seen, there are three disk formats, file systems, available in a disk utility on Mac, APFS, macOS Journal, and XFAT. A file system is a way of organizing and storing files and data on a computer or storage device. It defines how data is stored and retrieved on a storage medium, such as hard drive or flash drive. APFS – Apple File System This is the default file system for macOS High Sierra and later. It's designed to optimize performance and data security for modern storage devices like solid-state drives, SSDs, and flash storages. APFS supports features like encryption, snapshots, and space sharing, which allows multiple volumes to share the same physical space on a drive. I recommend using this format by default for macOS. This is the newest and the best file system made by Apple for their computers. Note, if you will format an external drive in APFS, it will not be visible on Windows. This format is visible only by macOS computers. HFS Plus also known as macOS Journal. This is the oldest file system used by macOS before High Sierra. It's still supported in macOS, but APFS is now the preferred format. macOS Journal or HFS Plus is optimized for hard disk drives, HDDs, and supports features like file compression, journaling, and encryption. As I said earlier for APFS, if you will format an external drive in macOS Journal, HFS Plus, it also will be visible only on macOS, so you will not be able to access your files on Windows. XFAT – Extended File Allocation Table This is a cross-platform file system that's supported by both macOS and Windows. It's designed to work with large files and volumes and supports features like file compression and encryption. This format should be used if you are planning to use the drive on both Windows and Mac. The drive format using XFAT will be visible on all platforms. When choosing a format for your drive, consider the type of storage device you are using, as well as the compatibility requirements of your use case. For example, if you need to share files between macOS and Windows, XFAT is the only option for you. APFS offers better performance on Apple computers, macOS Journal is better suitable for all style spinning hard drives. By default, you should always choose the APFS format. Now you know everything about formatting, partitioning, or data encryption on macOS. If you have any questions, please comment below, I will try to help you. Thanks for watching. If you want to support me, please like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more tech oriented content. Don't forget to check out my other videos on my channel as well. See you later on YouTube. Bye bye.